Well, good morning. It's uh, an absolutely beautiful day today. It is a bank holiday, and we're here at the beautiful Lindome Lakes Complex. Now, the complex is very, very busy today. I think every single lake is taken. We're over on Laurels. Uh, as you look at it from the cafe, we're actually on the right-hand bank. We've actually got pegs seven through to 25, but we've got nine anglers here that are here on our latest group coaching day. And right down there, we're going to be doing the demonstration where we're going to be doing fishing shallow. We're going to be targeting F1s and carp, mainly on the pole. However, there are one or two anglers going to be having a go with the feeder as well. And down there, that's where Dean Barlow is, where he's going to be doing today's demonstration. Well, we've just got a bit of a ripple on it now, which is uh, which is nice. There's fish moving everywhere. Dean's just doing his demonstration at the moment. He's starting short with pellets on the deck. He's got uh, he's made a few friends there now. Every time he feeds, those ducks are going barmy. He's going to be loose feeding. Uh, going to be loose feeding casters as well. He's just started loose feeding them long, and that's where he's hoping uh, he's going to be catching shallow. He's got quite a few rigs set up there for covering those options. So everyone's just going through this demonstration with him now. He's going to prime that long line. Looks like he had a bite then. He's going to prime his long line and then go and hopefully catch shallow on there. There's quite a lot of fish moving about out there as you can see so we're just going to go through the demonstration Dean's going to catch a few fish hopefully looks like he's just hooked one just lifted into that fish this is probably only he's only been fishing a couple of minutes so this is his first fish let's have a look what that one is little left one by the looks of it one hooked itself That's speed fishing so um, Dean's going to be having a go Fishing shallow shortly, hopefully he's going to catch a few fish doing that and then that's when everyone will head off and enjoy the next uh, five hours where they can work on the things that they really want to work on and we've got the whole of this right hand bank today so I know there's also going to be some anglers fishing the feeder up to these really attractive islands so it looks like it's going to be a really interesting session Is that one or two indications? There are some fish there but as you can imagine He's fishing full depth, so you're going to be getting indications from fish up in the water as well, but he's just changed his pellet and he's into one straight away. This one looks a better fish. He's still firing casters on that 11 metre line. It yeah, looks a much better fish, this one. It's taking a little bit of working out, but that's what these sessions are all about. Every day's different. We think this one's far up by the looks of it. It looks like it. Dean's going for the tail. He reigns it's hooked in the tail, this one. No? Is it hooked in the mouth? It is. It is hooked in the mouth. It's just a better fish. That balance setups angling these better fish easily. Like I said, there are lots of F1s in here, but this kind of setup he's got will allow him to catch fish of different sizes. Common that one. Yeah. Nice bonus. Not as good looking as you that day, mate. Just about. It's a bit bigger than me. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely fish. It's ticking over nicely now. So he's almost getting ready to go on his uh, on his shallow line now. He's caught two or three fish on that short line now, so uh, he's just switched to his long line now. As you can see he's firing casters out there. This is the deepest. The deepest of his shallow rigs. He has got two other rigs set up that are set shallower. But he's starting on this, just with banded caster. He's just shown everybody how to actually band a caster, because I know a lot of people struggle with that, so he's just shown everyone that, which is a much easier way of doing it. And there are one or two fish cruising about out there, whether they're feeding or not, we don't know. But yeah, there's a few cruisers out there, as you can see. When it goes flat calm, you can see them. That doesn't always mean to say that the feeding does it. Small fish. He's fishing caster, and obviously casters you can catch anything with them, but it's such a good bait for the F1s as well and carp. So sometimes you might have problems with silver fish. That's something you can only work out on the day. A bit of a ripple on it now, which is. Um, you can only help 
I think with a cover, as long as you can present it, just pull it out of that fish. That was a, a better sized fish. <laughs> well everyone's headed off to the pegs now and it is fishing quite hard yeah. at the moment but we've got one here on this short line pellet decent fish to start on as well yeah. it is fishing hard but it has it's just gone 12 o'clock bright sunshine it's not exactly ideal conditions there are fish cruising around chunky f1 well done mate, that didn't take long did it? Oh. Hard banded pellet? Yeah. He's off the mark, nice simple bait tray. Yeah. Great fish to start with. Yeah. Well we're down here now with Fuzz. He just bumped his first fish. Again he's on that short line with pellets. And there was such a tiny, tiny indication on the float. And uh, he's just lifted into it and he's got a fish. Looks like it is hooked right, by the looks of it. Or is it? It's like the little left one. Belly. Yeah, in its belly. We said that, didn't we? That indication looked a little bit dodgy, didn't it? So there are obviously fish around the rigs and stuff. As you can imagine, fishing full depth on a sunny day like this, you know, there are going to be fish up off the bottom and, and all around the feed. But he's off the mark. Go and hold him up for us. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, lovely fish. Nice one, mate. Hold on, pal. He's off the mark. So it is a bit of a slow start, but this is the worst part of the day. Um, but everyone's playing the long game. We've got lines set up for fishing shallow in a little while. And then we've also got margins to think about later on as well. Dean's just down there with, he's just helping Peter out. But let's have a quick look at uh, Dean's setup. So Dean's got, I think he's got four top kits set up. So basically what he's got is he's got three shallow rigs. We've got one there that's really, really shallow with a dibber. He's then got another rig there that's slightly deeper. All right, different style float because he's fishing more for a proper bite than a, a bite, or as you probably know when you're fishing shallow, they quite often hook themselves and a dibber like that's fishing straight away. So that's a little bit deeper, that rig. And then he's got a third rig for fishing shallow, which is deeper still. If you can hear me over the plains, so that's a slightly um, longer different style float for fishing deeper in the water and then his other setup is the final one which is here and that is basically set up for fishing full depth on that top kit plus two which is just there which is what he started on so it's just different options because you never really know when you're fishing shallow you don't always, always know obviously how deep or shallow they are going to be and by having three different rigs like that he's covering all his options Trace's in, she's made a switch to the feeder. Go on, hold it up for us, come on. Hang on, hang on, she's switching. She won't get any indications on the pole. So she switched to the feeder. Over towards the island. Is it too big for you to pick up? No, I <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. Well done. Just casting out there towards the back of that island. We're just at the top end now. That looks like another F1. Is it an F1? Let's have a look at him. Oh yeah, nice one. That hard pellet on the deck? Yes, six mil. Six mil that time. What are you feeding? Are you feeding sixes or fours? Sixes. Are you feeding sixes? Yeah. Got some fishery pellets there. What he's feeding? And there is casters for his short line. Are you getting many bites? Yeah, only on the lift and drop. Right, yeah. that's so interesting. It, taking it as soon as it settles again. So you've got to work it, have you? Yeah. Lovely. They are there, they're getting indications, but they're taking some uh, some working out. We're seeing signs of it slowly getting better. Why ever it was so slow to start with, I don't know. But um, as we've said before, it's good when this happens because you've got to work for your bites and that's when it gives you opportunities to try stuff out. If it was too easy, we'd just end up catching fish monotonously, wouldn't we? But at least now we're having to work for it. But another fish here on this top kit plus two line hard banded pellet again yeah. they put up a good account of themselves these these fish so yeah I mean while we're getting indications it's telling you there's fish there so that 
obviously that helps you work for it you know at least they're giving themselves away even if they're not necessarily feeding but it's still early and nobody's uh, gone on the shallow line yet well fuzz has just gone on his shallow rig you've got a few little dinks on caster thinking they were little fish it just switched to to pellet and there's a culprit good skimmer last time fuzz was on this lake there were sheets of ice floating around and you may have seen him on one of our uh, members matches here and he was catching skimmers like that you had a nice little run of skimmers like that didn't you yep. and then guess what happened eight before a sheet of ice <laughs> stop me fishing a great big sheet of ice came over his swim and that was it he couldn't fish that line anymore but uh yeah, it's obviously a little, little bit different conditions uh, today, as you can see. Tracy's there. Tracy's had a couple more on the feeder, giving us a wave. She's had a couple more on the feeder, cast into the back of that island. So um, it does look really nice and sheltered. And sh where you can see the shade underneath those uh, overhanging trees. You can imagine any fish at this time of day being under there. But uh, Fuzz is just firing casters out onto his long pole line. And that's where he's, uh, he's now fishing pellet over the top of that now. Adam's getting a few now on his top kit plus two line. He's just uh, had to change the way that he's feeding. He's getting indications he's fouled two or three fish, getting liners and stuff. So he's just made a change, started up a new spot. He's got one straight away. Constantly having to ring the changes today, but that's, you know, that's what we're here for. Just keep ringing the changes, keep trying to work it out. He's just pulled out of one and straight away he says, I think that's foul looked. What do you reckon? I think that's a bit of a giveaway. Good fish though. <laughs> well, we'll just get to the halfway stage now. There's been a few fish caught. Really with what do you reckon, Dean? I should have bought me a knotted anchor. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant the weather is. Uh, high pressure. But there's, there's a few fish being caught, yeah. It's, uh, the whole place is fishing a little bit hard on all, uh, on all accounts. But... The guys are doing well. It's uh, every fish is earned at this moment in time, but like a lot of uh, commercials, I think later on in the day it will uh, it will start. The fish will start feeding properly, and it will be the witching hour, you know, and that's when when the fish will start feeding. They're going to be having a look down the margins. Uh, it's up to the guys if they want to. I think I think there's a chance that they can catch a few down the margins, but it as normal it won't be till later on. Uh, but. Uh, shallow has been okay uh, but it's really hard work uh, most fish the best place to get a bite is like five meters just on pellets uh, but cupping some pellets in and making sure they all get down to the bottom and just lowering your rig over the top that that's been best you can if you feed loose feed pellets over the top you can get a bite but can't seem to walk any fish so it's been it's been every fish is earned at this moment in time but like I said, looking around the lakes, it's uh, it's fishing hard everywhere. So yeah, but good exercise as as, uh, as normal. There is Mister Doherty. Look at that, he's having a real clean. Somebody says, is it like some kind of garage garage sale that's going off here? He's absolutely. His kit is pristine. Look at this. Spring cleaning. Mate. Spring cleaning. Look at that. Eh? Always keeps on top of his gear. Dean's just come back to his box now. It's just um, about half past two now. Dean's just come back to his box. Just to, one of the things that we've started doing is that when we have these sessions, Dean will leave his kit set up and everything and he'll keep revisiting his box because when it's a little bit iffy like it is today, then, you know, it's kind of difficult to know how everybody's actually feeding the peg and everything. Looks like Adam's got one there. Yeah, he's playing one there. It's difficult to know how they are they actually feeding the peg and all that sort of stuff so it's difficult when uh, when we're walking around and he's just gone in and he's had two fish straight away just feeding that that one's come off actually but he's, he's had two on that since he went back on it but they're definitely feeding a little bit iffy but you know that's that's what we're here to try and work out and it's going to be interesting now this last hour or so Quite a few of the lads are now, um, and Tracy as well, they've uh, fed the margins now, so we're hoping they're going to get a few few visits down the, down the margin going into this last hour or so. Adam's catching a few now. Well, you're not going to hold him up, mate, are you? <laughs> Looks a big, that bit active, that one, isn't it? That hard pellet again. 
That's a good fish start. There's one, one, one or two showing down these uh, on this short line now. Well, it's the first margin fish of the day. Admittedly, he is on this end peg. He's got a really nice margin, which I'll show you in a minute. Looks like it's a decent fish. Have you been down margins long? First put in. How long is it since you fed it? 20 minutes, so he set it up 20 minutes later, it's gone on it, it's gone straight away. I think it's going to be quite a deep margin here as well, I think. I don't want to go too close to his margin because I don't want to ruin it, but it looks like it's a good fish. I'll just come around this side and find out what he's got this on. Could be down this left hand side because he's, uh, as you'd expect, being on this end, he's fed down to his right. What's this on? Is this on pellet? It's on sweet corn. Sweet corn, is that all you fed down there? Uh, I fed micros. Fed micros, micros. and he's got. Micros and corn and corn on the hook. As you see that margin now, look at that. Looks really nice. The wind's not really hitting it down there, but it's very sunny. But it's nice and warm down there. He's got him first scoop. Well done, mate. He's a good fish. Get that one. That's what it's all about. Margin fishing. Cracking fish, all done mate. Yeah, you can see that margin now. Really nice. Well, just like what we hoped, these margins are slowly getting stronger now. It's just gone three o'clock now. So that's another one from this margin here. Dan's just had one there. He's fishing much. As you can see, he's got some uh, some bull rushes to his left. He's just had a, an F1 there. So there's one or two coming to these margins now. But that's what we expected this time of day. And this is Fuzz. Fuzzer's mixed bag. We got through them bream late on down the margin and turned it into an F1 peg. Well done, mate. Fantastic. Traces worked hard. Look at that for a bag of fish on a rock hard day. Mainly feeder? Uh, yeah. Mainly feeder. feeder. Mainly feeder, but some pole fish as well. Some Beautiful. pole fish were these. These were the pole fish. They were the pole fish. These. Perch down the margin and some proper F1s on the feeder. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Getting in. Adam's got a fantastic net of fish, as you can see. There you go, go on, have a picture with Dino. Go on, Dino. He's having his picture. He's having his picture. What a fantastic <coughs> net of fish that is. Some lovely big F1s. It's caught shallow as well. Is that six meter, well, that five, top kit plus two line. Fantastic. Well done, mate. That's Dave's beautiful fish. Look at that one. Proper margin monters. Well done, mate. Well, it's been another very interesting session. They've really had to work for fish. Alex Doherty has now jumped on Dean's box and he's catching fish now. It's a fantastic time to be fishing now at this time in the afternoon. We've got loads more sessions like this planned throughout this year. So if you do want to keep up to speed on those sessions and you possibly might want to get involved in them, if it's something that you're interested in, then just go to the catchfishingchannel.co.uk website and they are all there for you to read more about and to book on if you want to take part. So we're all off into that cafe now. We're going to go and get something to eat. Most of the anglers here are actually going to be joining us. So that'll be a really nice social end to what's been a fantastic day.